Okay, and a kind of a follow-up question is, you know, what, what are some typical run times for any explicit? Okay, well, I can go back to these problems that we did for the demos. Let's see if I can get back up here. Uh, and I'll just try to uh, tell you what these were. Okay, so this, bu this buckle problem takes about 25 minutes to run on one processor. Um, this, ball, this, this problem with all the, the hex elements uh, takes on the order of an hour to run on one processor. It's just, uh, it's a very long duration event, so we're tracking it. We do thousands and thousands of time steps. This turn, I said earlier, this takes uh, about three and a half hours to do on one processor, and you'd probably be able to get it to run in a, a little over an hour on four processors. The ship problem runs in 15 minutes on one processor, and uh, with the automatic scaling, and it takes about two hours without the automatic scaling. And uh, this little drop problem with the handheld device, this takes 20 minutes on one processor and about six minutes on four processors to run. And uh, this, this problem uh, takes on the order of 10 minutes to run on one processor. I should uh, emphasize when you start talking about running parallel problems, the smaller problems like this ship, for example, there's not much advantage to run it on multiple processors because it's not big enough to, 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 to really help. A good rule of thumb when you're running in parallel is that you need to have on the order of four or 5,000 elements per processor to make it pay off. So uh, because of the way parallelism works, uh, you just don't see a big payoff if you're doing a really small problem. So I hope that uh, that gives you some sense of the runtimes for these kind of problems.